guys. Hello. <laughs> we are still figuring this thing out every single time. Something doesn't work. What's so, working? oh, it's all working now. We're all good, right? I'm pretty sure we're all good. But yeah, you guys let me know if it all looks good. Um, I'm going to wait just a second to see if people trickle in. If not, I don't care. It can be all seven of us and we're going to have an amazing time. We have a lot of catching up to do. Let's make sure we get <laughs> let's make sure we get Bree in here on her own little cute hey cam. <laughs> um yeah, we have a lot to catch up on because we've not done a YouTube video, we've not done a live, we've not done anything. Wah, wah. But I'm excited. I'm I'm really excited. I have so much Okay, well, I'm not I have a bad story to tell us. Story time. About the truck? Already? Yeah, wow, let's, let's start off with something right bad. In. So here's what I want to talk about. Number one, uh, we just pretended to be, oh, a little a little quiet. Okay, a little quiet. Let me turn that up. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, maybe I should get on my... I don't know. Hopefully that's better. Oh, Bree's going to be quiet for sure. You need to get on my chair. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, we've been we've been all over Insta, man. I got I got a lot to say about Instagram as well. Nothing really good at the moment. We have 110 organic followers that we've spent a lot of time getting together, and then it just feels like Instagram does whatever it wants to do. Anyway, a bit of a bummer. Um, all right, here's what I want to talk about today. I feel like I have a ton. Number one, I broke our truck. Okay, that's something I want to talk about. We'll do that right at the top. Next thing, we just pretended to be van lifers. Which I loved. Which Brie loved. That's Spoiler so alert. So much fun. <laughs> I know, I know you were wondering. Uh, Brie loved it. Five day Oregon coast trip. I want to tell you guys all about that. And if any of you are curious, we have like a whole itinerary that we want to put together to give you guys if you're ever doing a similar trip. Wow. Yes. It was a beautiful. Yeah, Matt, the algorithm is a little more than fickle. Um, it will just drop you so fast. I, I don't know. Anyway, um, the other thing I want to cover, I just got done building like my masterpiece. That's probably too much. Not a masterpiece, but something that I'm really passionate about is gaming. And I finally got around to building myself like a beautiful desk. And I want to show you guys what that looks like with our trusty little uh, Brie cam over here. So... Those are the things I want to get to. Let's hop right in. <laughs> Matt says, pretended to be van lifers or did a trial run. Um, I like to say that we we were total like posers. We were uh, disguising ourselves as van lifers, which I mean, was really easy, honestly. Going yeah. from, don't you think? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. I think yeah. it's just easy going from one rig to another. It just, um, it's more about like, how you can travel and how like you feel in that vehicle but yeah. like we've been living this nomadic lifestyle for several years now so i feel like it was so easy to just jump in the van and go like we didn't even nothing. think about like the hard parts i think of what other people would think about like filling up the water the and, toilet like, situation the electric and like the toilet they had a yeah. cassette toilet it was just like it all just came very natural it was all so easy so we had a blast but let's get into uh, subject number one, the truck. I broke it. I literally broke it. I'm so mad. <laughs> For those of you that don't know, we have a 2021 Ford Ranger. It is the apple of my eye. I love that truck. <coughs> and <Nice>. um, <laughs> I used to love that truck. And then I brutalized that truck. So basically what happened is whenever you're towing behind a massive bus like this one, you're supposed to have supplemental braking to help break because of the extra weight of whatever vehicle um so basically hopefully there's not any cops in here matt you're not a cop right basically we've been going through certain states illegally because it's all state to state and so we just haven't had it on there i didn't notice any difference but just to be legal and because we're going to be going through some mountain states uh, i.e idaho utah and then the top of arizona so i tried to get that installed tried to do things by the book well, you see what that got me, don't you? What it got me is possibly a twelve hundred dollar. Oh, not uh, possibly. Bill. <laughs> it is a twelve hundred dollar bill for sure. And yeah. then we'll see if it's gonna cost any more than that. But 
Matt, you better not bust shop. me. <laughs> They're working on it currently, but he said it's probably gonna be like eight plus hours of labor. Of labor, yeah. And well, then, I didn't even tell him what happened yet. And then the truck's gonna be there for a few days. Yeah. So just the bus. So here's what happened though. When I was going to install that supplemental braking, I basically had to punch through the firewall to get some wires and I couldn't find a good spot. So I just, you know, I get a good eye. I stick the drill up there and I like literally tap it for half a second. I'm like, you know what? This is, this is a really dumb idea. I shouldn't do this. And so I literally walk away and then I go to start the truck later. And then it's just like beeping and flashing and like, the rear seat belt monitor is not working. ABS isn't working. There was like six different things that aren't working on the truck. So it's at the shop. I'm an idiot, but we're going to keep moving on because that's how life goes. Like there's nothing else I can do about it now. Hopefully I learned something. I probably didn't. It just but... sucks that we have to like, I don't know. It was like a split second move. That's going to cost us thousands of dollars. Literally. <sighs> And yeah, that that stuff never feels good. No, it doesn't. It throws a real when wrench it was... in our plans because we're literally yeah. getting ready to hit the road for our ski trip, and our ski trip is not cheap by any means. We mm -hmm. just threw a bunch of money at was cool. that, only going skiing for three days, and it was so expensive. So yeah, yeah, it's bad we're just timing. Just throwing money around right now, guys. Bad and good timing. We had a good ad with uh, Pilot, so they they took good care of us. So. Uh, a portion of that money is going directly to fixing the truck. Okay, that's out of the way. Uh, definitely stay tuned if you are here. I don't know how many people are watching. I don't pay attention on purpose because it'll just like make me sad if I do. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for those that are watching, make sure to stay tuned because I'm gonna give like a really cool rundown of like the gaming PC area. I think you guys will like it, and I want to talk about some like the automated features. But let's talk about Bree's favorite part. Van life. Van life on the Oregon coast. Yeah. Take it all away. I don't even know where to start, honestly. So we got in a van for five days, hit the coast, and had an amazing time. I, I think I've convinced Devin to move into a van at this point. She might have. How? What are What are you guys' feelings on that? Do we have like some bus life versus van life contention going on? Or yeah, I'm assuming. Does anyone here live in a bus or a van? Yeah. Yeah, we have some people. No, but but like, no are, are we team? House. Are we very vehemently like team van or bus? Because I was surprised. We had some comments that were like, "I can't believe you would downsize from a bus." Basically, like you're idiots. Like, I'm, like, I'm oh. so sad. Your space was so cute. I'm like, well, we didn't leave the bus. Yet. Yeah, we didn't actually we leave it. We just got into a van for five days. But as you can see, we're back in the bus. We're not getting rid of the bus. We're still living bus life. But I. I love van life, I guess you could say. And so, like, I just wanted to try it out together as a couple. And it turned out to be everything I expected and more, honestly. Uh, but I drove the entire time, which is A, one pro for van life, is that I can drive while Devin edits YouTube video or an Instagram reel or plays a game on his phone like it literally doesn't matter um i never oh, yeah. drive the bus and so that was one thing that devin was like this is nice like i was driving and he no, was, it was like, really nice on the laptop at the desk space like while we were traveling a few hours each day like just getting work done sending emails yeah what what have you like he does all of that <laughs> stuff and so it was really nice that he could just take that time while that was so I nice to do the things that he usually does like <clears throat> Usually when we're driving, or when he's driving the bus, you're driving for, like, it's a whole day event. Yeah. I mean, if you, you guys know, some of you are in buses. If you have a three or four hour trip, just go ahead and plan for, like, six hours. Yeah. It's usually, like, a full, if it's six it's, hours, yeah, then you're, like, eight or nine. Moving, and yeah. since he's the one that does, like, all the editing to all the videos that we create, it's, like, he'll drive all day and then he'll like start his job like start yeah. working at the computer which just makes our day terrible because like when we stop traveling it's like i want to spend time together or i want to go out explore. and like get a drink or explore the new area that we're in but it's like he's kind of like oh i gotta edit this or i gotta work or i gotta finish this so it's kind of like really nice um I don't know, just how the dynamic played out with me driving and him being able to get work done. Yeah, so so here's the truth for me. There there are a couple, like, I want to make a whole video just based on, like, the pros and cons of each. I mean, I think most of them are obvious, right? I saw somebody said it just a second ago that 
um, maybe it was Matt, that a bus is a home. It's just a home. It, we have everything. We have a washer and dryer, a full stand-up tiled shower. It's an apartment on wheels. A van is not that. A van is basically just like a, a traveling, okay. exploring thing, and that's pretty much it. No worries, Wes. So that's awesome that you have a van and a bus. Congratulations. That's, that's the way. Um, but that's he's wanting out of for day. I'm not sure. Wanting out of um, bus life and can't wait to downsize into the van. Yeah. Super I, that's, excited for you because I feel this same jealous. exact way. Yeah. That's like the natural progression in some ways that like we start in a bus actually and Bree doesn't even like she, she doesn't remember this but I tried to get her into a van first. Yeah, I do not remember this at all. Yeah, I was looking up prices. I remember vans like, being no like twenty thousand dollars like old sprinters not a chance now you guys know i mean if you're in a van or you're looking at a van this was also like five or six years ago when we first you know started the research for this bus and she just didn't think she could do it she thought it was way too small so i just think it's interesting now because we've like swapped i'm really comfortable here like i said i have this gaming pc oregon coast was incredible though i do i want to show you guys like a couple pictures if i can get it to work here um, yeah, I'm gonna see if I can. I never know how to do this though. I think I can. I think I can. Let me see if I can get you working here. There we go. We'll just do the. Yeah, it was a blast. I definitely want to get in a van. Um, I love. <laughs> I prefer to drive too, so like my stress levels were like way down. We could literally park anywhere. And when I think I say, they can see this. I just wanted to show them real quick. Oh, nice. Yeah. Check so I, I think you guys can see this. I'm not 100% sure, but. Let us know in the comments if you can see this photo. This was the coolest place I think I've ever been. And if you guys are on the Oregon coast or you're close, please get here. This is called Secret Beach. Oh, no, not a secret anymore. Like huh? It just looks like that. Wait, it's like half and half. What's that it's about? Not like did that screen. did that fix anything are you sure swipe down oh bummer oh yeah i see it now oh no it's like all messed up hang on i'll fix it we'll fix this live <laughs> i'm such an amateur i love it hope you guys don't mind if you do i'm sorry it's kind of cool figuring this out like i don't know how else we would figure it out if not doing it live well i'm sure there's a better way but anyway there it is. You can see everything else going on. I don't have anything on my desk, so I'm not worried about it. But that—that nice. that is Secret Beach. That is one of the most beautiful places we've ever been. That and Natural Bridges, which is right here. Just, just incredible. Yeah. So yeah, we got some really good photos. Super psyched. But I feel let's like go I'm back. A lot, haven't I? Yeah. Sorry guys. Sorry if that wasn't uh, very helpful. That was a little all over the place, but um, so we have a full video series coming out with that. So look forward to that. We're gonna do like our whole experience traveling in a van. Um. Okay. Yeah, you guys can see it. Good man. It was it was so cool. Hey, what's up, Nathan? Welcome in, man. You haven't missed too much. Um, just to. Well, you missed the story about Devin. No, that's what I was kind of getting at. You know, you don't don't worry about that story. <laughs> we never need to talk about that story again. Yeah, basically, you just missed the story about me breaking our truck, and it's at the shop. Probably be about a $1,200 fix. So, that's fun. All right. We'll yeah, go. Yeah, uh, Wendy, I would also love to have both because, so what I was going to say, like bus versus van, is you guys know, well, hopefully you know, that I'm a travel expert technologist, and so, like, when I'm working on contracts, we're in a place for 13 weeks at a time, which is a pretty long period of time to be stuck in a van when you're not traveling you're just like there to work so the bus is definitely more of a home right you have like such a large space we have everything that we need it's like a new york apartment on steroids right um so it's really nice to have the bus when i'm working but let's say i don't work and we make um social media our full-time job in that case i would love to get into a van and just be able to like go 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 or only stay yeah, in will, one Matt. place for like a week or two mm. at a time in such a small space but i would not want to live in a van full time while i'm working my xr position like no. on contract because i think that's just too long to be like sitting but when we did this coast trip we were just like moving every day 
we were in a different parking spot literally every night and so that's when it was like really fun yes that can get old so you do need time to rest and like reset but yeah i just like how fast you can whip a 19 <laughs> foot ford what was it ford transit ford transit uh, yeah just whip it around so easily it just, drove like just a Honda. felt like a car it just felt like a car felt like a yeah. truck like I love driving it. Yeah. And it was so much fun. Bree drove almost the entire time. Oh I did. Absolutely. So so that was if you're doing like a pros cons, um, the con is like, yeah, it's gonna be hard to have enough room for like our space and our hobbies and like snowboards, gaming PC. We wanna get bikes and stuff eventually. The bus has room for all that. We even have room that we probably don't need for like guests, we have bunk beds. But yeah. then on the, the opposite side obviously you have the mobility. And then, like Bree mentioned earlier, now she can drive, and now I can be working while she's driving. Yeah, I don't that, know. that it's, was it's literally, like, such a sell point for us, mm -hmm. and especially, like, in our relationship. I feel like there's two stresses. One of me, like, having high anxiety, like, traveling in the bus, not having my own passenger seat. This thing's air ride. Mm -hmm. We're rocking all over the place. <laughs> We're very large. I get, like, very anxious when i'm literally not the one behind the wheel even if it's in the truck and devin's driving i'm like still kind of anxious i would just prefer to drive which i'm working on it i'm working on it but like that was one less stress for me and then devin's stress would be driving the bus all day and also having to work to like push out content yeah and so he feels behind it's, because he well, just I lost am, his entire yeah, day I'm driving behind. so it was kind of like killing um, what is it? What's that saying? Two birds, one two stone. Two birds, one stone. Two stones, one bird. So it was like already Whichever two way you stressors want to do it. that were like better for our relationship. Sorry guys, I swear I'm not like playing mobile games. I'm trying to get get on my okay. chat here. I can see you guys on the screen, but it's just not that good. Um, no worries, bus. A lot of people are telling me I should do a build series on YouTube of my van. I feel like there's so many already, and I don't think it'd be successful. I don't even know how to film. Uh, nobody knows how to film. Like you have to learn how to film, right? Nobody innately knows how to do pretty much anything which i'm a big proponent of i think you should do it if people are telling you if you're already doing it and you think it's like you have the time just bring something new to the table that's the only thing i would say is you need to bring something that somebody else isn't doing have some perspective that's just even if it's like three degrees different that's more than big enough to bring your own story to it and so maybe that's one way you do it is just like doing a lot of storytelling mixed in with it of like your life surrounding it how do you afford it what are you actually doing day to day which i think that's pretty interesting because yeah you're right there are a lot of like you know people just building vans and vans are just a lot more easy to build than right. a bus there's so many like out there now i guess it's like it's not like this new cool thing right it's kind of like everyone's doing it at this point um which honestly i don't even care like if, no we don't care if it's um makes your life happier or if that's what you enjoy or if that's the rig that you want to be in just just go for it yeah like, the, the way i say it is like we were here before the trend like really popped off and we're gonna be here afterwards so yeah. like it doesn't matter do do what you care about whether it's trendy or not like we love it i know um, a lot of people that have been in vans now are going to box trucks right yeah. box trucks are kind of on the yeah. trend at the very at this moment i guess we're seeing a lot of people switch over to box trucks which is also cool like that's that's awesome i think it all depends on how you want to travel honestly um, oh my gosh jeff i think this is the first live that he's been able to be in what's up jeff dude i'm pumped to see you in here that's awesome um no you didn't miss much just uh i'll, I'll recap it with you later my idiot story <laughs> uh, okay with your phone yeah with your phone absolutely if, especially if you have a newer iPhone like yeah we have we have a, a sick camera nowadays but this is not what we started on and we started on the camera that I'm streaming into now and actually before that we did the phone and honestly we go back to the phone for like all the reels that you're seeing on Facebook or on Instagram and Facebook most of those were done Just with our phone. phone yeah so and I have an iPhone um, Yeah, I'm, I'm actually with Matt on this about the box I truck. 12, I think. Yeah, you have a 12. About, uh, I, I would want to go to the back without having to get outside. If it's like terrible weather, really rainy. I don't know. A van. Oh, so this was something that Chip said. Connected, right? 
Not usually. I've seen people cut holes in theirs, and oh. they make a way to get into it, but no, not normally. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I liked the van for that aspect because it was raining, like, like sunrise to sunset, whatever. It was raining for three days, so our first three days on the coast was um, pretty crappy weather, but we still had a really fun time. Yeah, it was terrible weather. But with that, like, yeah, I would have hated to have to, like, get out of the driver's seat and, like, run around the vehicle to hop in the back we could just like we're in one space so yeah that was really nice um no worries bus i would say as well cap cut is really really popular on phones and i've been playing around with it. i use premiere like exclusively uh i've been playing with cap cut because that's what brie has on her phone i've actually like really been enjoying it i'm surprised like it's pretty Wait, feature rich it? cap cut isn't that what you're using no. to edit what are you using uh insta shot InShot. InShot. Okay. InShot and CapCut both. And you can you can edit full videos on that stuff. Like, no, it's not going to be like movie production where you have like six InShot. layers of sound. Yeah, but you don't need it that. It's like a little Instagram camera. Like, it's kind of similar. Yeah. So, um, obviously, we had a really good time. Oh, yeah. I want to show you guys the, the, the desk. This also I want to be its own whole video, but I just don't have time to edit this stuff. All right. I'm gonna turn this camera around and you just have to know that it's like just a mess. I have all this stuff everywhere, but I really want you guys to see this desk because I've been slaving away and I gotta show somebody. Bree's tired of me talking about it. All right. Okay, let's go big cam here. So we're gonna get you stuck in the portal, but this is the new desk area. Nathan, you son of a gun. Thanks, dude. Happy New Year. <laughs> oh, Happy New Year. All right, so here's the desk. It is a little sloppy, like I said right now, but check this out, number one. Hey, Google, turn the gaming lights to blue. Sure, changing two lights to blue. So, there you go. So it has voice-controlled lights in both top and bottom. They are individual, so I can change both of them. But the other really cool feature is that you see these set of fans here? They still need guards on them, same down here. I have a switch panel right here, but they're actually like automatically controlled, all dependent on the temperature inside the box right here. So if it's cold inside the bus and it's really hot inside this cabinet, if it gets above 85, it'll blow the warm air onto me like a heater because this thing gets really, really hot. But you see that fan up there if it gets really hot outside, I have the other temperature uh, probe outside. If it gets super hot outside, it'll turn the fan to the outside on to vent the hot air out. Because I've literally gamed in Arizona. And Jeff, you know how Arizona is. <laughs> I've gamed when it was like 95 degrees in here. And then you have a 500 watt heater just cooking. So I thought that was the best way to kind of do it all. Um, that'll be mounted up on the wall, but yeah, this is pretty much the whole look I got going on here. Loving it. Loving it. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I turned on Google for somebody. Okay. Let me get this camera back here. It's amateur hours over. Anyway, yeah, that's something I really like doing is like technology and woodworking together. Those are literally my two favorite things. So I'm really excited about this because I think it like kind of perfectly encapsulates me as a person in this one area. And then Bree's trying to make me sell this whole thing and live in a stupid van. Yep. Oh, really? You're just so pleased with that? <laughs> yeah, I, um, I'm just kind of like looking back on some of the comments. Wendy, I would say like having a bus and a van is the best of both worlds because I could totally come home, live in my bus, but I want a van to like travel in, to do trips because it's just a lot easier. It's, like you can go faster <clears throat> pace, less stress, and yeah, I just loved it. But you still have the luxuries of literally everything our bus has, except for laundry, I guess. Um, not everything but, but in like a smaller space it's That's a sacrifice it, it's like give and take no it's about 20 foot difference <laughs> i know in a smaller space but i'm saying like you still have a sink you still have cabinets you still have like your pots and pans you can still cook anything in there like yeah. you still have a toilet 
you still have a very comfortable bed. There was no shower in that one, though. No shower and Guys. no laundry. That's <laughs> we it. didn't shower. We showered on the last day of the trip, and that was it. We were disgusting hippies. It was only a five-day trip, guys. <laughs> we showered the night before we left. Oh, my gosh. And the night before we came home. So I would Listen. say we went four days with no shower, and, and that's, <laughs> like, that's fine. I told her, like, I think some of you are, like, van and bus people or want to be, so you'll probably understand. But, like, normal people, I think they <laughs> like, shower people. every day. I think in my old normal, life, I, I used to shower every day, and that's, like... <laughs> my old life? Jeez. That's a thing of the past. We did, the old have, me. we did have body wipes with us, mm -hmm. and we use those daily. So yep, you do old body wipe. We're still taking care of ourselves, but a full-on <laughs> shower was twice in five days. That, like, oh, my gosh. I think that's great, considering... Yeah, what about a what about a bus? Are you in a bus, Nathan? And thanks, man. Here's to you. Cheers. Happy New Year. And just too small for you. I see. Yeah. I don't know. I would I would say I guess if you already know, you know, but if anyone ever has like any thoughts of like going into a van, just get out in one and try try it out and <clears throat> I think you can determine it from Yeah. Um, okay, I think we'll talk about one last thing, and we'll probably wrap it up. Um, I want to talk about the events that are coming up. If you guys don't know, if you are van and bus people, um, community is like something that's really important, really special. You don't have to have a bus or a van either. Like you're more than welcome. Bring whatever, especially Schooly Palooza. I lost my camera. I don't know. I just lost main cam. Don't know what just happened. Um, anyway whatever you have like community is the main thing and that's the whole reason that we do all of this so i just really want to encourage everybody uh the next couple events that are coming up that i know of that we will be going to and would love to see some of you guys there that is going to be here we go let's get let's get the we're going to steal the webcam um i don't know why my cam just went out anyway so the next events that are going to be happening that we'll be at are going to be bash which is an escapees event um, I'm not saying like everybody should go to this one it actually seems kind of expensive because it's like a paid deal But it's like 10 days and I think they give you food the whole time. It's like 400 bucks, which is like I don't know if you're trying to do van and bus life. Sometimes you're on a budget um, But that's one thing we'll be going to I'll be giving a talk uh, That Friday and let me check my calendar so, so like, I can make sure there's a concert every day. Yeah um, They, they give a lot sure it comes like with Includes your stay, obviously, and your food. You're getting live music every day from several different bands. It's a new band every day. Yeah. Um, a bunch of different panels and, like, learning experiences. Yeah, it's super cool. I'm pretty sure several nights are going to have free alcohol. Mm -hmm. um, well, it would be free, but, yeah, you pay for it. <laughs> well, like, that's included in that price, obviously. Um, so we'll be there the 19th to 21st. On the 20th, I'll be giving a talk about like social media, about how we create our reels. Um, yeah, just telling stories through there. And then on the 22nd to the 26th, we're going to be hitting up Schooly Palooza down in Arizona. So we'll be back in Arizona for a short time. Then we're moving on to Baja, Mexico. We got a lot going on. I'm and I'm pumped about it. All right, Bree, it's going back to you for a second. I'm going to see if I can fix this camera. What? You're, you're front and center. Front and center. Yeah. Anyone have, Entertain the uh, people. Specific questions about van life, though, versus bus life. I feel like that's kind of. I want to talk more about that. So if you guys have any like specific questions, please let me know because I would love to answer them. I could just. We're back. Ramble, no, so. we're gone again. Oh my gosh. <gasps> I think it's the cord that's going bad. Uh, it's a stupid cord. Which makes no sense at all. No, we were there and then gone. That's awesome that you get a raise. That's really exciting, so congrats on that. Let's see. You feeling the pressure and over there? Nathan says, Alliance, fifth wheel. Dude, what is, it literally just decided to be broken. Broken. So a big old fifth wheel? Dang. Honestly, like, I see benefits of each, each yeah, rig. Done. I think it's teach their own and, like, however you want to travel is, how, like, whatever suits your needs. And I feel like van life would more suit our needs in this period of our life. Um, just because I'm going to be taking like several months off of work. And so I'm not going to be um, like traveling.
wrapped or stationed to one place right now so we have a lot of traveling coming up and I could just see how doing that in a van would be just so much better because we could just take that thing anywhere. Well, I'm going to join you on the like, couch. We don't really have to plan very much when it comes to van life um, because... Ooh, that's a good question. I really like Wendy's question. You don't have to really plan anything because you can park yeah. it... I don't know how to stress this. I think I was talking to you about it. It's like when we moved in the, into the bus, it was kind of like... This bus can take us anywhere. Like, we live on the road. It can go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And it can. But then the van life just ups that that phrase or that sentence, like, even, <laughs> even yeah. further. Because it's like, I, yes, this can take us everywhere. I but also, we can't park it literally anywhere. I have to anywhere. disagree a little bit. Because I think you just have higher anxiety with the bus. And I don't. So, like, today so we were in Ben. And we just whipped around, and I, I saw, like, no problems. And then being with Rolling with Ophelia, yeah, they were, like, everywhere that we were. We hung out with them for, like, a day and a half. They went everywhere that we did. There was yeah, nowhere yeah, that yeah. they, like, couldn't go. So, yeah, there is, there is, like, a little bit more mobility, especially if you're, like, at a laundromat. Like, we couldn't park in the parking lot, so we had to park 100 feet over. Like, in street parking, yeah. that's all. So, it's all give and take. You do have to sometimes be careful of your routes and everything. I don't know. Just depends on what you're looking for. Yeah, the van, you don't have to be careful with your route. You literally don't have to worry that you're not going to have a parking spot or you're not going to fit. Um, Let me check the calendar. And actually, I can even go a step further with that because the owner of the van, we were talking about the van that we were in, it was 19 feet. So if you get a van that's any longer than 19 feet, you might as well get a short bus. Um, just because it seriously <laughs> makes a difference. A 19 foot transit like literally can park in any car parking space and it's like super easy to whip around you don't have to take wide turns it's like the perfect van essentially for like the get up and go van lifestyle if you get a van longer than 19 you're gonna have like uh, so we have a couple questions some issues so no worries bus do you think the van fit your lifestyle or would you rather build one um i'm a diyer so Devin would it's, definitely like yeah. rather build it just to like cater to his specific needs. Like if we moved into a van, you best believe that there's still gonna be some type of gaming PC setup exactly. in there. And so like we didn't have that and he was like really longing for yep. that. We just had the laptop and that doesn't cut it. And then I mean like it's people would be say beautiful. like shower or no shower. I don't really know. I think we could get by with no shower. I, I don't shower. in a nineteen foot van i think like probably no shower you'd have to have fine. some kind of folding so that's anyway the whole thing i would have fold up fold down to be able yeah. to do different things that you want it to do because that's the thing like if you're good at design if you can build things modularly where it can all change based on like what you need that day then i think you can make it work we already noticed in that van like that we would want more storage so if we lived in it we'd already build more storage and then yeah. there was just like no not even like hooks or anything not to hang our rain like our wet rain jackets for the day we were like where do we throw this so we just kept throwing all of our wet stuff over like the passenger and driver's yeah. seat um because we didn't want it on the bed obviously because yeah, there's mess. there's no other options to hang anything so um wendy asked the same question would you design a van differently from the one that we tried out yeah we definitely would we would yep yeah but well, i mean I that's the great thing about building well, that's the great thing about building anything is like you can just do it specifically to you, and well, so we can adapt to anything. If we're in a if we're in a van just the way that it was, like we'll be fine. Oh yeah. We'll make it work. But could it be made better for the way that we live? Yeah. yeah. I do think that, I mean, that's kind of a debate in housing anyway. Like all these homes are built for a family, but we all live very differently. Like we do things a little differently. We have different hobbies. Um, so yeah, we would just equate the space how we wanted it. To reflect the way that we live um jeff asked what were those arizona dates so the dates are basically we'll go be going through las vegas i'm doing both so through las vegas we'll be on the night there on the 19th and then the 19th to 21st will be near lake havasu at the escapees event and then schooly palooza 22nd to the 26th which is going to be in edinburgh edinburgh Ehrenberg. Ehrenberg. That's what I said. Ehrenberg. <laughs> Which, um, <laughs> Schoolie Palooza is the 21st through the 31st. 
we are arriving somewhere in there, but the actual dates for schoolies, the 21st to the 31st, and bash, the actual dates, I'm pretty sure it's also a 10 day event, and it ends on the 21st, so look at her. Somebody demanded to see the cat. Bye, Kiki P. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, she's just <laughs> hanging out in the driver's seat up here in her bed. Um, she she's loves living that her bus life, baby. Yeah, she loves that spot. Usually, when we can't find her, she's there or on the bunk bed. Yeah, Matt, that's kind of what we came up with. In fact, we um, if you would have just put some magnet hooks on there, it would have worked perfectly. Yeah, I was like, really? It was no like a hooks? metal strip there. Yeah. 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 So that was kind of a bummer. Um, storage is uh, the that's the issue with van and bus life. Yeah, it is. Not so much with bus life if you have a bus this big. I, mean, I guess depending on like, like if you want to bring a boat with you, you you're gonna have a problem but I mean I agree <laughs> but it's also really strange because literally last night the bus was a mess because we were transferring everything that we put into the van back into the bus and so we were just like mm -hmm. throwing bags in here and like reorganizing everything and then I was just like holy cow like first of all we brought way too much stuff with us for the van trip we didn't need half the stuff that we brought yeah exactly and second off I remember saying the other day like we don't have any storage in here talking about the bus but then we brought all that stuff in and it's stored just fine and everything's out of the way so it's kind of like this weird feeling of like we have way too much stuff and I know we could get rid of, so therefore you don't need as much stor storage well, as you think. Well, he here's the problem with storage. If you have it, you You're will gonna fill use it. You're going to use it. Yeah, so 100%. everything is full in here. And so when I open up a cabinet and it's crammed packed with stuff, I'm yeah. like, we have so much stuff and not enough storage. Yeah, because like if you have a garage, you're just going to start throwing stuff yeah, in there. Yeah, exactly. Like whatever you have. So eliminating that useful space then makes it where you have to deal with the item instead of just being able to throw it in a you know a bin or a storage area i don't know i think the next step is like getting into a van for like a month or maybe a few months to really test it out but i think like just in the five days i know we could get rid of so much stuff oh yeah we definitely you don't could. need what you think you need we definitely could all right um i think we should wrap it up you guys okay. know me. I could do this all night. Since we had a camera go down already, I don't know what happened Devin's there. Devin's stressing. I'm stressing a little bit. Yeah, He's I like, love that I'm, camera. I want to figure all this out. What's, What's going on here? But it, it wouldn't be a basically nomad stream without something going wrong. That's true. Yeah. So Devin likes to do... Course. Well, you don't like to do things easy. No. He like, I want to run three cameras. And exactly. And we got to have yes. music running in the background. And then I want to show you guys some photos. So it's like because I want to give, I want to do the best for the people, you know. Like I get you it. And so I was, I was saying this earlier to to Wendy and uh, No Worries Bus. You just gotta, you gotta just up your game a little bit, and that's what we want to continue to do. Um, there will be some time period where we're probably just showing up doing lives, but like I definitely want to make this thing bigger and bigger. Uh, yeah, I just want things to to be really valuable for you guys because you are spending your time. Like yeah, maybe you have something else going on, but you decided to be here with us, and like I want to show appreciation for that no we thank you guys for being here yeah seriously because otherwise we'd just be talking to ourselves yeah so i just want to make sure that i'm giving back and that you guys see that i'm like trying to put in the extra effort to do multiple cameras and to do high quality whatever anyway that's it guys we are out of here thank you guys so much for hanging out good luck with everything you're doing and we will see you next week what next week no. Next I was week. Say, do you have any more All right, I'm gonna leave Brianna awkwardly on camera. Go. Feel free to leave the questions in the comments. I still haven't stopped it. See you guys next week. Bye. Nope, not stopping it. <laughs>